Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. We are on Mars, and we have a sufficient base. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like you know to be more efficient in how we are processing resources and building things, because honestly, it's being a bit slow turning all of this ammunition into usable materials. Uh, but it will work. We've got four solar panels that aren't aligned properly. It's driving me insane. It doesn't really matter since the gun, uh, since the sun is going down and that's going to be there for an hour. Oh boy. Uh, we've got two batteries. Uh, they both hold up to three megawatt hours. Um, pretty reasonable. Uh, and we've got a reactor up there which I think has, yeah, 7.04. And I believe our refinery is processing more uranium for that. Uh, as our refinery is processing uranium, we're doing good things. So, yeah. Anyway, today's agenda is going to be we're going to build a truck, uh, a pickup truck kind of system, uh, which means I'm going to be making my first wheeled vehicle ever because I haven't made a wheeled vehicle in Space Engineers and if I remember if I uh, remember the tons and tons and tons of wikis that I've looked at um, vehicles aren't you know stable uh, we are having a bit of an issue with the animation mod that I've added that's required for some of the uh, other mods that we've got uh, so, basically I had the drill in my face for like five minutes because I didn't know how to change the animations. Uh, I've added all the mods in. Mods everywhere. So you get the point. Anyway, uh, first first things first I need to deal because uh, we're going to create the base layout for it. Uh, so I'm going to need about 200 possibly. Uh, the plan is we're going to put all of this, uh, all, all of these machines and what have you, on the pickup truck. Uh, so that we can have a mobile base and uh, I'll, I'll show in a second what I've got planned for. First of all we need to place a block uh, in the in the ground. S some Somewhere a bit deep in the ground so that we can uh, have wheels above the ground and then they uh, once we break this block then they'll drop down and everything will be fantastic and what have you. Uh, we need, uh, let's, let, let's do some calculations first. Let's go up to number, uh, two. We're going to be using wheels. Uh, I'm going to be using three by threes. I might be doing this incredibly wrong, in which case you're going to have a fun, uh, fun time watching this. So this is a three by three wheel, which basically means that it's going to take a three by three footprint. Um, yeah, let's, let, let, let's turn T off because that because that's going to annoy me. Uh, so we don't want it here, right? Because otherwise we have no wheels. Uh, we probably want it up here. I think. Yes. That should be it. Uh, so we want to go up here. At, and this will be, I think, where we want everything to be. Well, uh, we'll, we'll do that for now. Uh, we, we can always, um, no, no. Better safe than sorry. Uh, okay, let's think about this. So we need the refinery, which is too wide. Uh, that, that'll be on one side. Yeah, that'll be on one side. We could make it um, two across. Uh, that, that might be something to uh, look into. So like this. So we have a two on this side and a two on this side. We have the refinery going down the center um, and then we have the rest of it uh, elsewhere. That might do it. Uh, let's just drop down here. So we're also going to need solar panels and they're going to be uh, kind of on a roof uh, slash side section of the pickup truck so that we can get sunlight um, to help power things because we're going to be a hybrid um, because technically we don't use uh, petrol or gasoline, we use uranium. And we all know how deadly that can be. Uh, yeah. 
so if we have the in if we have the front of the car be four wide uh, then that means we can have a med bay here or rather we can have a med bay hmm uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it in a second uh, let's go back a bit so we need it at least four I'm gonna go six just in case yeah uh, we're gonna go six long Uh, and in fact, I'm probably going to change some of these edge blocks so that they look better. But this is roughly the plan that we're working with. Uh, yeah, so we can have refinery down the middle and then the other uh, bits and pieces that we have. Now, we're going to need to have the ability to upgrade our assembler as well and possibly add more assemblers. So how, how could we do this? What we could do is we could have the refinery on here so this section here um, and then have uh, wow phantom forces huh um, and then have assemblers along here that might work uh, well anyway add this here and that there uh, throw these down there that's essentially the size of our mobile base well, the, the rear section anyway. We'll do the front section a bit later when I know what I'm doing. And try not try not to throw yourself everywhere because otherwise you will die. Uh, we've all seen that happen before and everyone has already celebrated when it does. Okay, uh, let's start placing down these. Now that's a, that's a right, so that needs to go on the right side of the vehicle, which will be here. Don't run too far. Um, have I moved it? A bit too far possibly uh, yeah so we just want to place it here right is this the right way or is this the right way I have no idea uh, well we can test it so we've got that mm -hmm. or uh, that that's that way or we have this Way to kill yourself there. Um, I'm sure you meant to do that. Uh, I just need to check something. Good, it didn't auto put me into creative mode. Yeah, uh, anytime I log into the server, it auto puts me into creative mode because I'm an administrator. So, yes. Uh, we wanna weld these things up and I want to go collect my stuff. I've got some more materials to uh, throw into the burner. Yeah, anytime I die, I get a short, uh, I get a small amount of resources because that's how things work. Uh, we want to build the suspension first, don't we? We want to build the suspensions, which we're going to need a lot of stuff for. And we'll start welding up the wheels as well. So I need construction component and large steel tube. Let's get that going. Uh, let's bring 200 and then we'll bring all the large steel tube we can. Should be enough. Right, so we should be able to build this wheel. Uh, I'm not going to fully weld it yet because um, I'm worrying about the potential co uh, consequences of having it fully welded at this point. Uh, we just need 24 small steel, 12 motors. Uh, we want small steel tube, 24, and motors, 12. This is Jake's first experience at learning how to drive a car. Well, make a rover, really. Right, that's the wheel suspension. And this is the other variant. Uh, if you're yelling at me in the comments saying that, um, that there is no difference, uh, then why, well, thank you. Did that kill me? No, it didn't. Okay. Right. Okay, um, now all we need to do is make these things run, and in order to do that we need a command console and it being powered. So we're going to need to build a reactor, may as well. Uh, actually, for testing purposes, no, 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 no. Reactor here, this is going to be fun. 
Uh, I need 100 reactor components. Do I have 100 reactor components? No. Can I build 100 reactor components? Um, maybe. I've forgotten the look of it because they've changed from what I'm used to. They're, um, something. Uh, oh, I need silver. Um, hmm, I don't appear to have any. No, I don't have any silver. Okay. So we're going to want to use batteries instead. Alternatively, I could have added this as an extension to the base, um, at which point that would have been a good idea, but hindsight is something that is really painful. Uh, alternatively, we could look at the uh, motions of the wheels, and they seem to be going in the same direction. Okay. Right. Well, we don't want them at this point anyway, we want them one lower because uh, we're going to be riding low, so to speak. So I'll be back in a second once I've demolished this and added it to a proper grid and well, it's going to be painful. Um, but yeah, back in a second. And we are back. Uh, fun fact, I just went to look at the wiki to check how wheels worked and it doesn't matter what orientation it is. Uh, it, it just matters which way uh, is right and left. So we're going to head over to the right. Uh, I've, I've changed how it is. You can see over there. Oh, by the way, uh, what I was talking about earlier being this a glitch, um, the, the arms shouldn't be like that. They should be like that. Simple, really. Uh, but very, very simple. Uh, okay. Let's do this. So we want a wheel at the back probably here, something like that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and keep all of these the same um, same way around. Uh, so we want one here, mm -hmm. ow, uh, and we want one, give me a second, let me get into a position which doesn't kill me. Uh, if we have, so that one's there, that's a gap, that's not, if we take here, then that should be good, right? Okay, so that means we have a two block gap in between, um, which is good for all parties involved. Right? Yeah? I don't know, uh, I, I might, uh, no, I'm gonna change this. Uh, give me a second. What we're gonna do is take this, and we're gonna place it here. Ooh, fancy. Uh, this is so that we have a uh, tighter turning thing. There, there's some science behind it. Uh, I can't identify it for you, uh, but I'm sure that there is an actual science behind this. If there isn't, then, well, deal with it. <laughs> again, really? Right. Let's do this again, shall we? <laughs> I think this is going to be a... Why is my body up here? Oh, we went flying. What? Don't worry, I've got my base bookmarked. What the hell happened to you? Why are you underground? Oh, you're over there. Um, I might not make it. I probably should have taken a bottle. Uh, you've stopped moving, right? Please say you've stopped moving. Okay. Um, yeah, so this jumped about 2.5 kilometers away from the base. Lovely. Good to know that we're uh, using proper physics here. Um, yeah, you can all... I've got extra GPS locations that I don't need. Delete. Uh, that one's one. Delete. Change this base, location, good. Uh, so we should be able to just simply travel back by using uh, some kind of suborbital uh, sub trajectory or ballistic trajectory. So just turn off jetpack, uh, we'll fly over I believe, and then we activate jetpack when we're close. Like now. Okay, 
Uh, let's hope that adding the other wheels won't kill me as well, because we all know that that is not conducive to, that's the wrong button, uh, is not conducive to proper working environment. Uh, so we want to place it here, good, and then we want to place the last one here. Um, now this is the one that killed me last time, right? Yeah. Uh, that should be good. We're all aligned. Uh, so that should be ho horrific, actually. That that looks terrible. I'll I'll work on the wheel design at some point later, but you you get the point. So next, uh, I'm going to have to weld all of these up. Uh, so, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back. Uh, what I've done is I've added uh, the first idea of what the cockpit will look like, and I've also welded up all of the lovely armoring. Now, all we have to do is we have to plan out where everything is going to go, and we're going to use tab number four for this. First of all, we need a refinery. Okay, without a refinery and assembler, give me a second, an oxygen generator, uh -huh. and give me a second, med room, med room, good, uh, what, what else, reactor, is there anything else? No, I think that covers it. Uh, we also need a cargo container, cargo, uh, if we want to use a medium cargo container, will that use more resources than we have? Probably. Hang on. Okay, so small cargo container, right? If you look at the interior plate cost, 40. If you look at the medium cargo container, which is basically two small ones put together, 120. For some reason. Uh, so we're going to use a small cargo container, and that should be good. Okay. So here's the plan if I stop flying around insane. Uh, stop flying around. Server, I am not moving, so don't move me. Right. The plan is we place the med room there. Hmm. Yeah, crucial bit. Uh, oh, and we, we need also doors. Uh, specifically sliding doors um, for access into things. Uh, so we also need some interior plate with us. Da -da 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 -da. I think 20 will be all that's needed. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Thank you. We're going to have a door here. And if I did this properly, we'd have another door here, but that's not going to happen. Uh, we'll, we'll build a small grid version later. Uh, we want to place the med room here, but I can't. I have interior light. I can't place it. Even if I go into creative mode. I can't place it. No matter the orientation, I cannot place a med room. That's a bit problematic. Maybe it's because I've got block limits activated. Maybe it isn't. Um, that's going to be really annoying. I'm going to need to figure out what went wrong there. Uh, anyway, pretend that there's a med room here. Okay, so we're just going to temporarily wall that off with this. Those the uh, those spots have been taken. This one's also taken, so we can't place anything in it. Uh, if uh, we also need a, give me a second, a flight seat, because uh, we're going to want to be able to see outside. Uh, that's going to be placed here. Maybe one there, one there. Possible? No. We'll, we'll, we'll place a flight seat here. Okay. Flight seat there. And then, yeah, that should be fine. Perfectly fine. I think. Anyway, uh, next what we have to do is uh, place you there as well because we don't have a door here because the med room is going to be here. Now, we're going to play Jenga. Well, no, not Jenga. Um, a 3D puzzle. Uh, we need the refinery like this, okay? We need it like this so that on the top we can add modules uh, when we want to. So we're going to place a refinery like this, okay? Pretty decent. Uh, now what we have to do, and this is the fun bit, uh, ooh, we have an opportune moment here. G 
give me a second. Give me a second. I want the cargo container here. Because then, whilst I'm sitting down here, I can go, ooh, I wonder where the cargo is. Badunk. Done. Whatever. Um, yeah, that actually solves a problem that I was thinking was going to exist. Uh, next, what we have to do is we have to add the assemblers. Assemblers. Um, which is pretty easy. I mean, we could have an assembler, we could have two assemblers uh, with one module upgrade each, or we can have one assembler with two upgrade modules. Um, I think the assemble two is probably going to be better. Just place that there. Uh, and then we've also got the oxygen generator. That's pretty simple, he says. It's not pretty simple. Uh, where can we put you? Oh, we could put you there, right? Because that's, uh, give me a second, just need to orient that. Double checking maths. Um, no, that's not going to work. Actually, which way did I place it down? Um, no, 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 no. Seven. There we go. Uh, so in order to make this work, we're going to place it here right here uh, which means that there's a cargo port there uh, well on this corner and then there's a cargo port on that cargo container uh, so if we place it there in order to get this active we need to fiddle around with that so we're going to need a conveyor junction here because uh, what we're also going to have is down here we're going to have the uh, oxygen generator yeah, so that's going to be part of it. Um, in fact, what we could do is we could double this so that then we have two refineries, uh, three assemblers or something. Um, still have to find a way to do it. Hang on. Well, no, we should have a factory, right? Yeah, we do. We have a factory. That requires alloy plate. No, because... Uh, you get 10 brownie points if you successfully guess what alloy plate requires. Platinum. Mm, and gold. That's why we're not using it. Uh, we're going to have to go into space to get platinum anyway, so... Well, actually, I need to research if there's actually platinum on this planet. Stop doing the animation thing. Thank you. Good. Uh, yeah, so we need to do... Wow, I'm really bad at this. No, no, no. Scrolly thing, thing there. So that is. I'm just going to double check. Uh, the med room there. The cargo container there. The assembler there. The ice processor there. And the reactor there. Good. This is very good. Uh, no, we don't have the uh, we don't have the reactor. Damn it! Uh, well, I know a way to solve that. Oh, we already have it. We already have it here. We're going to place the reactor, uh, being a chum here, and the reason why is so that I can power it without having to. No, actually, no. We want it facing outwards. Um, we're not. Fa uh, is that going to be in the correct location? Who cares? Who really, really cares? Right, so we're going to have the reactor here, uh, which is facing outwards. So you could go on top of the cockpit and manually input um, stuff into it so that it, it powers the entire thing, which is pretty good. Go weld this up. Uh, reactor good. Uh, we can place modules here, which we're not going to do right now because I need more resources. Um, and then that should be that. And we can place batteries at the back. Uh, ba batteries. Uh, we have like three kinds of battery. Battery, what am I talking about? Well, we've got f like seven, but four of those don't count because they're cannons. No, we've only got one battery, which is that one. Uh, yeah, so we've only got four. One doesn't count because it's a heavy battery of guns. We've got the azimuth battery. Hmm. We've got the regular battery. Hmm. And we've got the basic battery. Hmm. 
I tested out the basic battery. Uh, battery. Uh, it's got double the capacity, but half the input output. So it's for um, long duration, uh, like sustained usage or powering. Uh, whereas the regular battery is for, it's it's more for using up quicker. Basically, the the energy in the battery lasts. Uh, the energy in the basic battery lasts four times as long, but it's half as um, powerful. I wouldn't say powerful, but it comes half as fast. There, done. Lasts four times as long, comes half as fast. This lasts regular, regular, whatever. I'll add batteries later. Uh, yes, yeah, so that should be the basic uh, layout. And now we're going to do fun stuff. And by fun stuff, I mean we're going to cover this thing in lovely. Oh, I had latency. Uh, am I out of hydrogen? Yeah, I'm out of hydrogen. I could tell because my hydrogen didn't refill. Do, do, do. I want my hydrogen because I use it so much. Luckily, we've got lots and lots of ice to uh, keep us occupied until we can reach the mountains of uh, Slanesh. Uh, yeah, let's get some girders because now we're adding windows. Do 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 do. That failed completely. I was, uh, I was going to do the uh, Windows XP thing, but it didn't work. Where's the girder? Oh, it's here. Uh, yeah, well, I, I just need about, what, 50? 50? Yeah. Control 5. No, that's 6. No, that's 5. Okay. Window. So it's, um, can I tell? Okay, so the ones in white are transparent. Uh, or borderless, rather. And we don't want borderless. Uh, we want a 1x2 flat, which will go at the edge here. Right? At the edge here, you know, when I actually get the proper area to put it on. Because um, I actually need an attached block for that. Interesting. I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's the planning for the rover. Uh, next episode, we'll do some testing. Uh, well, I'll weld everything up, and then we'll do some testing, and then if it works, we'll go off and attempt to survey the nearby lands for their riches. Because we... Oh, hang on. Last thing. One important thing, actually. All detector. We're going to need to add that as well. Plinky, plinky, plonk. Yeah, so I'm going to weld all of this up. Uh, I'm going to add batteries, uh, and then we're going to transfer everything over to the rover. And then once we have, we will then test the rover. In fact, no. New. No. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll think of something. Uh, anyway, until next time, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.